Hey guys, good morning, uh, probably good afternoon to most of you guys watching this today. Um, so obviously this was not in the plans when I made them, you know, two or three weeks ago. Uh, but we're going to do what we need to do, right? Uh, we're going to try to make this and give you guys the same thing um, as B will get if we do go to school on Wednesday. Which while I'm making this, I'm not sure we are. So, um, that being said, a couple things. These are important things. Look, I put important. Number one, there is going to be a test on Monday. The reason I'm doing this video and not just giving you an assignment is because there will be a test on Monday. I can't push it back anymore. We're already behind. We have to have it in. And it will include things in this lecture. Now, if we have a B, that's why I told B not to watch this, even though I'm betting some of them are, uh, they will get the same lecture that you are getting here. This stuff in this lecture and what B will get on Wednesday, if we have school, um, will be on that test. Number two important things. All missing work is due next Wednesday. So test is on Monday. All missing due uh, work is due at next Wednesday. I'm giving you a week ahead of time to kind of talk and catch up with that, okay? Okay. Let's do this. So where we stopped last week in your notes, and I know if you don't have your notes, um, it's a little hard to follow along. If you don't have your notes, you can always go to module and go back to the PowerPoint later and fill them in so you can use them on your test. But listening will also help. <laughs> um, number one thing we talked about was refraction. Do you guys remember that? Back here, this. Refraction means it bends. Light is going to bend. The next one was scattering. Oh, got to move myself. Ooh. Scattering, it's when the light scatters, right? This one today is the one you probably know the most. It's reflection. Uh, reflection creates an image. An image is a copy of an object by reflected light waves. There are two types of reflection. And after the slide, there's a picture to help you if you get confused. There are two types of reflection. The first is regular reflection. That means all the light reflects in the same direction. This usually happens on polished surfaces um, like mirrors. Um, and it produces a very clear reflection. The other type is a diffuse reflection. Uh, this is when light goes in different directions when it reflects. This happens on rough surfaces um, usually and it creates a blurred reflection. So you've probably seen both of these. So like this is a, excuse me, a regular reflection, right? It's very clear, very crisp. But when the water is moving, like there's wind hitting the water, you will get a diffuse reflection. That's when it's fuzzy. See how it's not as pretty? Those are the two. That's going to go straight into what I was going to talk about today. And that is mirrors. Ooh, a mirror. Um, before we even talk about mirrors, we have a new law to learn. This is the law of reflection. Um, it's going to sound really weird now when I read it because it has a lot of vocab in it. But once I give you some examples, it'll be helpful. The law of reflection says this. The angle of reflection will be equal to the angle of incidence. Incidence is that word. Read it one more time. The angle of reflection will be equal to the angle of incidence. Now, what the heck does that mean? It means this. Here, I made a beautiful diagram. If you have your notes, the diagram looks exactly like this. Oh. Okay, let's look at this. So this is a reflected light ray okay so this these lines are the arrows we have to imagine those are light okay um this red line down the center that's not really there um it is an equal sign so it's a line where it hits the mirror then the line that reflects goes that way as it hits the mirror let's start with this mirror this is a plain mirror a plain mirror is a flat mirror so it's your normal mirror then we have this so this light, as it comes in, is called the incident ray. 
incident ray. Incident rays angle down, and they're the ones that are actually going to come out of the light source and hit the mirror. This angle right here that it makes, this is called the angle of incidence. After the light hits the mirror, it's going to go pew, <laughs> and it's going to reflect back up. This is what the law says. It says that this angle is always equal to this angle. The law of reflection says the angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection. So normally in class what we would do um, is I had little protractors, you know, little circle things used in like middle school. And we would measure out these angles to prove that. Um, when you have this 90 degree angle here, right, because 90 degrees, make a little square there. This angle will always equal this angle. So if I were to give you just this line, you could figure out the angle that it reflects back. And that's kind of what you're going to do in your um, remote lab today. So again, this is another example of that. That actually shows the light instead of an arrow. Um, this is the incidence ray. This is the reflection ray. And these are your two angles we're talking about. See how when it bounces back off of the mirror, it makes that same angle? Mm -hmm. That's all the law says. The other type of mirror, so back here, I told you this was a plane mirror. It's a flat one, right? Um, there are two other types of mirrors. One is called concave and one is called convex. Um, I know they look like they're just flipped, right? But these little lines right here are what you have to pay attention to. And we'll talk about the difference. The concave one is actually caves in and spreads the light out. A convex comes out and then pushes the light in. So let's look at these. Let's first start with a concave. Um, this is caved in. That's how you remember it, right? Concave, caved in. Um, it's used to centralize a beam of light. So your headlights work like this. Inside your headlight in your car, uh, there is a bulb. If the bulb ever goes out, it's horrible to get back in um, in some cars, especially like uh, little tiny foreign cars like Mitsubishis. Mm. Anyway, your light is in your headlight, right? That light only makes a little beam. So we have this mirror that actually takes this light, angles it out, and produces a huge beam coming out. It makes it larger. Um, flashlights do the same thing. It's why your flashlight is this big, but it makes a beam that lights up a whole room. It uses this mirror right here. The other one is a convex mirror. A convex mirror is curved out. Um, and it's used to spread out a beam of light. So, or like bring it to there. So, if we look here, the light would come in through here, right? So, it would hit here. And then it spreads it out this way instead of spreading it past the light source. So on this one, the light source is here. On this one, it's inside the concave, okay? Um, an example of a convex mirror, if you've ever seen these in the store, you can see how far away everything is. They use it for security, right? Um, so if you get caught stealing something, they're gonna catch you in this. Uh, also, those of you who are driving, uh, or about to drive, uh, your side mirrors are also convex mirrors. Um, it's why it says objects and mirror closer than they appear because the angle out actually makes them look farther away. Um, and when you're learning how to drive, that's really hard to um, remember. Okay, I'm gonna go and stop there today. See, pretty, uh, oh, stop it. A uh, pretty fast lecture today. Um, let me show you what your assignment is. So if you go into modules, I'm in first hours module, you're going to see this called the Law of Reflection Worksheet. It's going to look like this. It's not very hard. So it says Remote Law of Reflection Worksheet. Not very fancy either. You're going to do these definitions. They're straight in the lecture I just did. And then you're going to play with this simulation. Um, let me double click on it.
Oh, I already have it open. It's going to open you to something like this, okay? Um, this reflection, or this reflection, this simulation, excuse me, um, has a flashlight. When you click on the flashlight, it will produce a beam of light. And then these little things right here, it's the angle I and angle R. This is angle of incidence, angle of reflection. So when you change the angle of incidence, you have to look at what it does to the angle of reflection. Um, so for example, I move the flashlight to 33 degrees. What is the angle of the reflection ray? So I go back here, I find this angle, I move it to 33. This is the hardest part guessing where 33 is. 33. And what is the angle of reflection? It is also 33. Look at that. Okay. Um, this shouldn't be super hard today. Uh, do your best. I will tell you that um, I am. Oh, well, that's what you're supposed to do tomorrow. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, that is your homework for tomorrow. Okay. Not for today. Uh, your today homework is to watch this video. See? Your tomorrow homework is to do this, okay, for your remote day, your normal remote day. Um, do your best on this. If you have any questions or anything tomorrow, message me. Um, I'm looking out my window right now, and I'm thinking we may not have school on Wednesday either. Like, if there's a lot happening out there. Um, if we don't, you can always message me, email me. I'll get to you as fast as I can, guys, okay? Okay, happy e-learning snow day. I uh, hope you guys have a good day, okay? Bye.